Um, Minister, it's regrettable that we're back here again last time around in February during Minister's questions. I highlighted to you the existing anomaly in the local property tax legislation pyrite exemption, which actually means that property owners whose dwellings have pyrite are not able to avail of the exemption because of the manner in which it's been constructed. You agreed with me, but said that revenue had a solution. You called it an administrative solution, but subsequent to that, and I've given you the material, homeowners have contacted revenue only to be told, shove it. They're not getting an exemption, even though their houses are essentially valuable. We need to radically change this legislation. I propose to take PQ 7 and 21 together. I understand my department has clarified with the Deputy that her question relates to statements in the Dáil on the 28th of February 2017 rather than on the 4th of April. The Deputy will be aware that the qualifying criteria in respect of exemption from LPT for properties with significant pyritic damage were modified by the Finance Local Property Amendment Act 2015, which was signed into law on the 20th of December 2015. The Act relaxed the qualifying criteria, which was one of the recommendations made by Dr. Tarn Thornhill in his review. Uh, of the operation of the local property tax on behalf of the government in 2015. The changes are significant in that where a property has been included in the pyrite remediation scheme by the pyrite resolution board without testing or a property has been remediated by a guarantee company or by a builder or developer or where a party is compensated in lieu of remediation without testing, revenue will now accept confirmation of remediation or compensation from either the PRB or the relevant party for the purposes of exemption without testing or NSAI certification. In regard to the operation of this exemption, revenue is obliged to act in accordance with the provision of the Finance Act, Local Property Act 2012, as amended, amended which requires that the LPT exemption on photopyretic damage can only apply to properties uh, meeting specific criteria. Therefore, a property can only be classified as exempt and the LPT charge eliminated where the level of pyritic damage is confirmed in accordance with the provisions of Section 10A of the LPT Act and the relevant documentation is presented to revenue. The LPT Act provides that properties that are not exempt or liable to LPT a property does not qualify for exemption and continues to be in use, are suitable for use as a dwelling is liable to LPT and must be placed within a valuation band. While the valuation of a property is a matter of self-assessment, a property that is valued between zero and 100,000 falls within the lowest valuation band as per section 17 of the LPT Act and attracts a minimum LPT charge of €90 Euros per annum, which may be increased or decreased by up to 15 per cent by the local authority. Therefore, it is not possible for the revenue to grant an exemption or a reduction in the LPT liability on an administrative basis where the property does not qualify for exemption under the criteria set out in Section 10A of the LPT Act. In relation to my response to a supplementary question from the Deputy on the 28th of February, and in case uh, there is any misunderstanding, let me emphasise the factual position in relation to the LPT charge in such properties. As I outlined at that time, where the property is not exempt, there is an opportunity with the agreement of revenue to declare a new valuation, which may result, while not totally eliminating the charge, in a significant reduced liability for the householder. I am glad to have the opportunity to clarify this matter. Revenue has confirmed that it accepts uh, that the presence of pyrite, whether it has already caused structural damage or has the potential to do so, can have a negative effect on the market value of the property, and persons who incorrectly value their properties in 2013 should advise the revenue of the correct valuation and the grounds for reducing the original value. <coughs> wholly unacceptable for me to pose a question about the deficits and deficiencies in existing legislation and to get an answer half of which is taken up with telling me what the legislation is. I know what the legislation is, that's why we're here, because it's not fit for purpose. And in fairness, previously, Minister, you agreed with me that it's not fit for purpose because, as it's presently constructed, 
homes with pyrite, which are valueless, which people cannot renovate, they cannot extend, they cannot decorate, and they cannot sell because it has pyrite, but not sufficient pyrite to warrant inclusion in the scheme, do not get a property tax exemption. Now, you told me the last time that you acknowledged the problem and there was an administrative solution. What you seem to be telling me now is, well, sure, look, they can say that the property is basically valueless. It's between naught and whatever the lowest category and only pay 90 euros. That's not good enough. If you acknowledge a deficit and an anomaly in the legislation and you ask people to pay for something that has value and theirs doesn't have value, that's not good enough. We need to change the law on this and I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. I know it's difficult. You've said you're not interested in standing for office again. I realise we're in a, an intermediary period, but that's, that's irrelevant to the people who are paying this for a valueless property, to be honest. Thank you, Deputy Minister. Well, I can assure Deputy Daly that I will continue out, carry out my duties as Finance Minister until I am replaced by an incoming Finance Minister. What I said to the Deputy on the day in question uh, back in February uh, was that uh, the revenue, if a new valuation is posted by a householder, uh, could have their tax liability for LPT significantly reduced, if not eliminated completely. And uh, that's what I said. Uh, in other words, uh, if uh, before Pyrite appeared in the building, uh, someone valued the, their property in one of the higher bands, now that Pyrite has appeared, they can reduce the valuation to the lowest band, which is from zero to 100,000. Uh, but they can't eliminate it completely. That's what I said to you. And that the revenue couldn't eliminate it completely. And that then revenue uh, in administering the scheme from an administrative point of view, uh, will change the valuation on the property uh, so that uh, somebody would not pay at the 213 level, uh, they'd pay at the lowest level. And the lowest level is 90 euros. Uh, and when you take into account uh, the local authority discretion of a 15% reduction, I think it's uh, around 70 uh, in respect of the houses uh, that you uh, that, that you are so more, most familiar with in your own particular local authority area. That, that's the position. I never said we changed the law on it, but I said that valuations can be changed if somebody posts a valuation in 2013 that proves to be excessive subsequently. Thank you. Uh, imply that you said you would change the legislation. What you said was the existing system is flexible enough to overcome the anomaly. And when you responded by saying that the homeowner could have the um, property tax substantially reduced if not eliminated completely, the implication was that it could be eliminated completely under the present system. But you have very clearly clarified that today, that in fact what you're saying is, as it's a self-assessed tax, they should return a value in the lowest bracket, which would mean the liability would be reduced. And I hear that clearly, but I would genuinely put it to you that you have acknowledged the problem previously and the problem is with the law. Now, I've attempted to change the law. I've tabled legislation to amend this legislation, which I have been toing and froing with the Bills Office for the past two months. And they sent me a letter today to tell me that I can't do it as an opposition uh, deputy, as it involves an appropriation of revenue. And my changes would actually mean that people who presently have valueless properties wouldn't be paying 90 euros, because I don't think they should be paying anything. And the bill, as it's presently constructed, actually means that people whose houses are fixed and who don't have pyrite, who sell that property, up to six years, sometimes they don't pay any property charge. It's an absolutely ridiculous scenario, and I would really urge you, seeing as you know, I've been told by the clerk that I can't change it, and I went to the trouble of table and legislation on it, I really am appealing to you in your 11th hour or whatever to have a look at this and, and look at table and legislation, because in actual fact, based on your responses, that's clearly what is needed here to give justice to these families who have been already screwed over and don't need to, it had to be happened Thank twice. You, Deputy, final comment, Minister. Yeah, well, uh, as I said, you know, uh, uh, the last day, uh, maybe maybe the words I used could have been clearer. Uh, but what I said was that uh, the revenue, if they got a new valuation in on a self-assessment basis, uh, they couldn't eliminate the tax liability completely, but they could reduce it significantly in accordance with law. 
and the significant reduced uh, would be the 70 euros that I mentioned or 90 in respect of other local authority areas uh, where the discretion, the 15 per cent discretion uh, has not been, uh, hasn't been uh, used by the local authority. I have no plans to bring in amending legislation to the LPT, uh, but in the course of every year uh, the Department of Finance and the Revenue uh, have oversight uh, of uh, the legislation that governs uh, tax collection. And uh, maybe if you made a submission uh, to the Revenue to re-examine this. Uh, they, might, they, might, they might look at it, on it favourably, but uh, there is an argument that if, if a, a family is in occupation of a house and it's their principal primary residence, that house has some value. Uh, you know, it doesn't stand up to reason to say that it has no value Thank you. if it's still being used as a residence. Okay.